Right you guys, in this video we're taking a look at how we can securely wipe or erase our Android smartphone. Now it's very important before you sell your phone uh, that you securely erase all the data on that phone and that's really important because otherwise people can use data recovery software to get back your data even after a factory reset. So I'm going to show you my method of completely wiping the phone safe. Now, first off, you want to make sure you back up any data on your phone because the phone will be erased and you will not be able to get that data back. Next, we're going to make sure that the Android device is encrypted. Now, why do we want to encrypt that device? The simple reason being is once we encrypt the Android phone, that means that there's going to be a password and all the data on it will be encrypted. And when they try to use data recovery software, it will be completely uh, encrypted and they won't be able to see it. Now, every phone will have its own encryption uh, software built in. So you'll be able to go in there and use the encryption feature. It's normally in the settings area and sometimes under privacy or security or something like that. I know Android, uh, Samsung Android phones do have it on their phones. And you can see this is a Xiaomi phone. And of course it's on there as well encrypt device it will basically have a password on here for the encryption and of course this will encrypt all the data on there which makes it impossible for them to get that data back so yours will be in a different location for your phone but check the manufacturer's website for uh, turning on encryption on that device and it should show you the location for it okay it's normally in the settings area as i've said once you're happy uh, with finding that location what you want to do is toggle that switch on and then turn that feature on and once you've done this uh, you will then obviously start the encryption process it will ask you for a password to put into here and uh, basically you want to put in a decent uh, password here you will have to confirm this password but once we've got our password we can put it in here just like so and this will set up the encryption process for our device so I'm going to put a password on this phone uh, for our encryption area. So let me just go ahead and do that right now. That's now added in. So we can now push continue and it will ask to confirm the password. So put in the password again. And again, you want to make this reasonably difficult. And of course, once that's done, we've now got the encryption process done for our phone. It's now encrypted. All the data on there will be encrypted and stuff like that. So that means that if someone does try to use data recovery techniques to get into there, it will be impossible for them to get that back. So what we can do now is go back into the phone itself and we want to remove the SIM card and any storage cards that are inside the phone here. So I've already removed mine, but once you've got yours removed, you should be ready uh, to go ahead and start the factory reset now you can do this inside the settings backup and restore but on this phone you can also do a hard reset which is by pushing the volume button up and pushing the power button yours may have a different sequence what you can do but this normally works quite well and it will give you a menu system like this one okay and you have to use your rocker button here which is your volume button to navigate through the menu the touch screen won't work here as you can see so you need to navigate to the back menu here by pushing your power button. That's the OK button. And we're going to come down to wipe data here. So what we can do is now use the volume rocker button here and push down to hit wipe data. If you want to use the menu inside the settings area, you can do that. Also, it's entirely up to you which way you want to go about it. We just need to confirm here that we're going to be wiping all the data on this uh, device here. So I'm going to come down to confirm and we're going to click the power button here and this will then wipe all that data. Now it may take a bit of time, so be patient and let it do its thing. And once that's done, all the data will be erased from that device. Now, of course, we've also had the data all encrypted on that drive. So that means the data is all encrypted and we've done a factory reset. So I'm going to do wipe data once more because I like to do it more than once just to make sure. And of course, you can uh, do yours again. It shouldn't take too long the second time around because there's no data on there. So just give that another go. And if you want to do three times, you can do It's a bit over the top. But if you want to do that, you can do whatever floats your boat, really. 
but I'm just gonna literally do one more time here and we'll do one more wipe and this should then completely erase anything that's on that phone so if anyone did get hold of the phone or you sold the phone or you're giving the phone away to a relative or someone else you don't know uh, or whatever it may be and they try to recover any data they're not going to be able to get anything from there now once that's all done you can then uh, reboot the phone and you should see the beginnings of setting up a new phone now obviously you if it's for you you can uh, set up a new uh, account the new phone uh, for yourself but if you are going to be selling it then you want to go onto the computer and remove any remaining accounts associated to that phone which is like your Google account or any sort of other account like that and once you've done that it means it's not tied to that phone so when they uh, sell the phone or you reuse the phone or you give the phone away to charity or whatever it is you're going to do with that phone when they power the phone on it's going to allow them to set up the phone for themselves and that means there will be no um, accounts associated to uh, that Android phone which means it will be just like this and when they power it on they will then be able to set up the phone for their own account it's that simple so you just go through the process here let me just quickly show you and you'll see here it will ask you to put in your language this is because the phone has been reset and there will be no data on the phone it's just a complete re uh, set so if you're going to do this you would obviously put in uh, your sim card and stuff like that if you're setting it up for yourself but of course if you are selling the phone you don't want to be setting this up because it's going to ask you for your email account and stuff like that and that's not what you want uh, when you're setting up a phone if you're going to be selling it because then again you've got your account details logged on the phone so I'm just going to go through the setup process here just in case someone wants to know how to set up a brand new installation and that's what we're going to do here so you can connect to your network in your home if you want to I'm going to skip that process and again you would accept the terms and conditions and once you've done this um, you would then move on to the next stage here you can skip checking for sim card if yours is in the phone right now it will find the sim card and then you can copy data from your old phone to your new phone or you can set up it as a new phone a fresh start in this case it will be a fresh start so you would be clicking on fresh start here and then obviously moving on to the next stage go next here and away you go so you can either select assistance permission to help you I'm gonna opt out of all this stuff this is for Google I'm gonna know and again you can now put in your account email account and then you can set up uh, an online cloud account this is with Xiaomi but if you're with someone else it will probably ask you to do the same thing but it'll be a different uh, company like um, say for instance Samsung or something like that and we're gonna skip this area here I'm gonna skip all this set up fingerprint password you can do all that later on system automatic updates and choose your theme and then click next and it will start loading all the apps for that particular phone on there and there we are we have now completely erased all the data on the phone and we've reset up a new account on that phone and that's how you can do it it's pretty straightforward and easy to do there'll be no data left on the phone if someone downloaded an app from the uh, play store to try and do some data recovery they're not going to get any sort of information from that phone at all because one it will be encrypted and two it would be uh, completely erased more than once so there's no way they're going to be able to use any sort of data recovery software to get your data back on this particular type of device it's a secure and easy way of wiping the phone safely before you uh, get rid of it or sell it or give it away now if you've got a phone and you don't know where your um, sort of encryption uh, software or settings are then you can always drop on our discord server and ask a question over there and we'll do our best to try and help you and point you in the right direction for that information my name has been brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk thanks again for watching guys and thanks for your continued support bye for now now if you haven't subscribed yet hit the red subscribe button and hit the bell notification button and click all to be notified when we upload new videos.